Trail of the Cedars, Glacier National Park. So this trail is uh, very accessible for anybody and everybody. Uh, lots of people down here obviously. This is kind of the end of the park, but a good hike from here up. So I'm going to try to grab things as I go. Uh, this trail, like a lot of things, very well marked. So nothing to this one. A couple signs as I'm walking through, but like I said, lots of cedars. It's a nice little cedar grove. There you go. Round trip loop, 0.8 miles. So just a snap. Restroom at 0.15 miles. Avalanche Lake Trail takes off at 0.24 miles. You can reach it from the campground as well. No dogs, no bicycles. Sorry guys. I will say one thing I was kind of shocked by, but it makes sense when you think about it, but for being this far inland, it is a tropical rainforest here. This trail all the way up is like that. Uh, I think it's just because of the normal west to east flow of the winds, but the large mountains just east of us trap all the moisture that's coming through and just dump it right in here. And it makes for just a, a gorgeous spot. You'd think you're in Seattle, Portland, somewhere near the coast. But like I said, we're Glacier National Park here. So some pretty interesting looking cedars. This is just a stop along the way. A little mural at the bottom of this big old guy. Not the hugest cedars. It's not like the Redwood Forest, but it's pretty down here. Coming up here is where the trail up to Avalanche, Avalanche Lake breaks from the Loop Trail. So from here you'd be going up to Avalanche Lake as opposed to going straight on Trail of the Cedars. That's the trail and it's not all that steep. There's some steeper spots, less steep spots. And here's a little bit of the information. Map. Uh, we're at Avalanche Lake. We're down here at the bottom. That's the trail up. And those are the glaciers in the background dumping water off the front of those glaciers. There's some basic information. Bridge over the river and as you go up that trail you can really see that glacial look in the water color, that just gorgeous blue. And there's something else. View off of the bridge, like I said, Avalanche Lake Trail follows this all the way up and it looks like this off and on as you climb through. It's really pretty. Here's the bridge. And then looking downstream. This section of the trail is kind of interesting. So they raise the trail bed up, obviously to make it more level for accessibility. But also you get about a two or three foot drop down to the forest floor. And the idea here is fully undisturbed. So animals can walk underneath, critters can crawl. So really this will always, or at least hopefully, look like a normal forest floor. As little placards saying, hey, what are you looking at? Rocky Mountain Maple. Pretty common up here. You see those sprouting up all over the place. Uh, yeah, they're unique. Something I could say about this uh, built elevated trail bed. It goes pretty high and it actually makes it a pretty level walk on this backside. Pretty easy walking. I'm going to try to pick up these placards as I'm walking. I'm not going to read them, but I'm just going to say Kind of give you an idea what's out here, Western Hemlock. Information about it. That one's looking a little bit peaked. I move move that placard to one a little healthier. That one's gonna come down sometime. Base of a cedar. Some new trees forming. As I'm working my way down this backside, I will say one thing nice about the starting in the evening, which is new for me. Oops, there's another placard, sorry. I'm trying to capture those guys. Pacific U is you have the forest yourself. Uh, Glacier Park gets lots and lots of visitors. And usually, you know, this trail is not shoulder to shoulder, but you don't go this many steps without crossing somebody uh, coming or going. I've always thought this trail should be mandatory. Not mandatory, that's, I hate to use that word suggested one-way trail that way you can kind of experience it in the flow with other people and you don't have as many people crossing i figure with covid any of these loop trails that become kind of a, a norm but 
common sense sometimes doesn't rule the day. I like uh, designated direction loop trails. Uh, I walk dog off leash quite often. And one thing nice about that is if anybody else has dogs, they're usually going roughly the same speed as you, so you don't run into them. Which is not to say running into other dogs is a problem, but anytime you or your animals can have the world to themselves. It's been stormy all day. The sun's just about to peek out, which would be kind of nice. It's been really pretty, but look at that little blue sky. I will say this, it will be gorgeous tomorrow and the next day. Uh, got some good weather coming, which will make it spectacular down here. So still on trail. A little bit of a jam up there, plenty of trees. Oh, there's a little turn off on this elevated trail. There's the bottom of a tree, which if you ever get a chance to look at the root base of a tree, it's pretty cool. And like I said, elevated trail is nice because not as many people get into it, but it's it's artistic. It's pretty. I'll kind of go slow. Just guys just take it in. It's just neat. I don't think I can zoom out anymore. It's a good, I'd say, 12 feet tall. Just the base of a tree, all the dirt's off of the roots. Uh, one thing I always think is kind of fascinating about the trees in a forest, most everything's rock here. So if you look at that root base, that thing doesn't go down. I'll see if I can get it to the side of it. It does not go down very far. Just below the soil, those roots hit. They're reaching out quite a ways. And it doesn't take much to overturn those trees, but they're in a, a group of other trees, so not a lot pushing out them. Above there, there's another one. Okay, coming to the end of the, I guess, east side of the loop. A couple more placards. There's a good, good visual. So, the wording about the trail and what you're seeing. And then the loop. I'm going to use my finger, so bear with me. We started here, roughly speaking, when I started videoing. Walked up river. Right here is where that breakaway to Avalanche Trail up to Avalanche Lake, you know, it's kind of point, it goes up that way. Then we just followed that raised deck that we've been on all the way down this east side. And now we're here and coming back. There's some distances. I'm gonna begin videoing here because, uh, like I'd mentioned from the map just before, we'll be crossing the creek again, so one more bridge. Bridge is always pretty. This one's a little longer than one up above. So I'll slow down a touch. I've been walking kind of fast. And I'll try to do a panorama at the center of the bridge, let you guys see what the creek looks like on this end. Not as pretty as the top, and I will say that, well, there you go. I'm going to go upstream, but I'm going to zoom in. That's the mountain to the left of Avalanche Lake, and it's worth it to go up to Avalanche. You know, we're just talking to some people on the trail. I've seen Grizzly going up there, not on the trail, but you see him quite a ways off to the side, which is kind of fun. You'd be looking at like, oh, I'll zoom back in. You'd be looking at outcropping like that, working its way down over here, and you'll see an animal up there. It's like, oh, holy smoke, that's grizzly. All right, back, zooming back out. So here's the creek coming on down. Other side of the bridge. And that's Avalanche Creek heading down there. 